this short tutorial video will show you how to schedule offerings. Go ahead and log into the dashboard of your offering tree account. And if you don't know how to do this, please see the overview tutorial that will explain how to use the back end of your offering tree account. Now that you're logged into your dashboard, go ahead and click on the schedule section under the edit website subsection. Once you see this page, you'll notice that there are a number of options on here. There's an add schedule to calendar button, which will actually add your offerings to your personal calendar, such as your Google calendar, or your Mac or iPhone calendar, or even your Outlook calendar. And if you click on this button, it'll give you a description of how to do this, as well as instructions. There's also an additional tutorial video that demonstrates this process. You'll also notice that there's a date picker that allows you to quickly move between months, and you'll always be able to see the current date because it'll be highlighted in light blue or another color, so it'll indicate that that is today's date. And once you hit OK, it'll update your schedule to reflect the fact that you've selected that particular date range. Also notice that the schedule page will always update, so it'll always show you the current date uh, at the top, and that so that you can always see what is the particular offering that is coming up today or tomorrow. If you want to change this, you can even see something in the past. You can pick a date range that occurred in the past, go ahead and hit OK, and that'll update to show you the events that happened in the past. Now that I'm back on today's date, one of the important features that you'll notice is that you can quickly start to edit the event by clicking on the little edit uh, icon and this will pop up a menu that allows you to quickly edit the details of your particular offering that you've scheduled. There's things such as changing the time zone, you can change the repeat when it occurs, the starting time, the end time. Uh, also you can uh, allow yourself to make this an online event if you want to as opposed to having a physical location. So if you click the online event, it'll pop up a window that'll allow you to say, this is the website of my online offering. It'll also allow you to enter the name, which will appear on the client-facing side or the student-facing side of your offering tree account. The other thing that you can do within this pop-up is that you can set the price. If you have a specific price or if you want to make a donation, you can set it as zero. Also, you can set the maximum capacity. So for example, if you want to set a one-on-one -on -one meeting, you would set the ma maximum capacity to one, and you would make sure that you click allow registrations for this event. This allows Offering Tree to know that you only want a one-on-one -on -one meeting or a one-on-one -on -one event, and then you want to make sure that you allow people to register for this particular one-on-one -on -one event. Then if you go ahead and click save, it'll ask you, do you want to update this instance, this and all the future instances, in this case, I'm only going to update this one instance. And now that I've updated that, all of the changes have been saved. So this overview is what allows you to uh, quickly see your schedule. And if you want to schedule a new offering from the schedule page, you can click on the little calendar with the plus button. This will immediately pop up this uh, schedule offering uh, pop-up that allows you to set the details. So you can first select the categories. For example, I want to schedule Yoga Basics Workshop. I'm going to have it run on the Thursday and it'll be from 3 p.m. until 4 p.m. Central, Central Standard Time Zone. And in this case, it's going to be an online event. So I'll have people visit my Offering Tree website. And then I'll also make sure that this shows up as my website. Go ahead and click done. And I don't need to fill out the physical address because there is no physical address. In this case, the fee for the course is 15 and I'm gonna allow 12 people to register for this particular workshop. And notice that I've clicked on the allow registration for the event. Now I can go ahead and click create and 
the event is now added. And if I actually scroll down, you'll see Yoga Basics Workshop, and you'll see that it shows up as this link indicating that it'll take you to an online event for registration. The other way that you can schedule offerings is if you are in your offerings subsection, where you have the listing of all the different things that you offer. And you'll notice that there is another schedule button right here, or you can click on schedule offering at the top. This allows you to quickly schedule an offering. Again, you pick the category that you're offering. So in this case, it'll be Sunrise Yoga. And then it pops it up showing, again, all of the different fields that you can add in if you want to be able to create this particular offering. If you're doing a series or a workshop, then you would click on Schedule Offering. And in this case, let's say it's the Yoga Basics Workshop and that it's going to occur four times on a Monday. So then I would click Repeat Weekly. It's going to repeat once a week on Mondays and it's going to end after four sessions. So 2nd, 9th, 16th. So the last session will be on the 23rd. Now I go ahead and click OK, hit Done, and that will allow me to schedule a four-part workshop. And I'll set the capacity again to 12, and the price this time will be discounted to $10 per person if you sign up for all of the various classes. I've clicked Allow Registration for the event, and in this case, there will be a uh, actual location. This one will be Sample Studio. And then I'll go ahead and hit Create. Now that offering will show up if I go back to my schedule page. And you'll see that it says Yoga Basics Workshop, Sample Studio. And if I click on my website tab, go back to the front end, you'll see that here it shows up, Yoga Basics Workshop. If I click on it, it'll show that it's from 8 to 9 p.m. and it's $10. And it's, this is the introductory workshop and people can register for it. So this is a quick overview of how you can start to schedule offerings within your Offering Tree account. We look forward to seeing what you have done.